Hey, today I didn't really plan to film this video. I was just making the fire and I thought why not to have a little chat between us. 2015 was a great year, not just because it was so fun for me, but because I was kind of able to find myself in a way. I feel like I'm growing. If you compare me to 2012, which is when I opened my channel, you can totally see how nervous and insecure and just overall confused I was. Don't get me wrong, I still have a lot to learn, I still have to grow a lot, I have a long way to go, but I feel like this year was a great year for me because I pushed myself to do things that I wanted to do and doing all those things I feel like really really helped me. I was so afraid of meeting new people that I would never even really meet other YouTubers if they weren't reaching out to me. Instead, I tried my best to meet people, not just YouTubers, anyone and talk to people, go to places myself and know more people and I feel like because of it I found some of the best and closest people that are in my life right now. I explore new places in the world which is something I really wanted to do, I always wanted to travel but I felt so scared and I started taking the plane on my own, I went with other friends other than just Felix, I've done things on my own and I feel like I experience culture in a way that before I didn't. I was also able to work on some amazing project that a few years back I was only able to even dream about because I had my collections, more than one, and I'm still working on more in the future. I was able to do my animation series, first to look annoying, then Purgatory, which I'm so so happy about. Then I worked on a book, a real book that came from my mind, which is I don't know, it's insane if you think that I would just write these silly stories for myself or for my animation and then a bigger one came out and you are able to read it. All these kind of things just made me so proud and showed me that although I was never the kind of person that just focus on something, pick something and does 100%, I could still work on all these projects and be successful. And finally, another very important one is that I'm able now to say that I found the balance and the comfort that I needed in order to say that here is my home in Brighton, which is something I wasn't able to say before. I've been living here for three years, I think, and I always felt kind of out of place, I wouldn't go out, but now anytime I come back from a trip, it feels like it's right for me to be here. I have the pugs, I have my friends, and although my family and other friends are so far away from me, I always see them, and when I get back here, it's just the place I wanna be. I'm sharing all these things with you because if I was able to achieve all these things, it's because you had a huge part on it. You always supported me through everything, and they gave me like the power to go out there and do it and push myself. So I'm hoping that by making videos and talking to you, I can kind of give back to you because you are such a huge part of my life. So hopefully I can make you smile every once in a while or I can keep you company. And I don't know, I'm just very grateful that you are watching this and that you are always there for me. But now looking forward to next year, I have kind of like something that will make you be like, no, don't do it. But I'm gonna upload one video a week instead of two. And this is not because it's too hard to keep up or I got tired or bored or anything like that. It's because I wanna put more thought and effort into the content I produce. I wanna be able to experiment with things I haven't done before. I've been uploading the same kind of videos for twice a week for so many years and I feel like I wanna get out of that and try to just put more time into each video. Because of that, I want a week, and I don't know if I will be able to succeed on the idea I have. I just wanna upload videos that are longer, more fun, more creative, and hopefully it will work out. If not, I will go back to my regular kind of routine, but hopefully, if you don't mind, I will try at least for the first month in January, and we'll take it from there. We'll see how it goes. Now, that's about it. Happy New Year. I will see you in 2016. Bye. Thanks for watching.